We are going to install zip by typing in sudo apt install zip. And then once it's fully installed into your Crostini terminal, you're going to go to your file app and we are going to find a movie that we are going to zip. And we're going to zip it in the terminal app itself. Type in the ls command so that you can find the file name that you wish to zip. Now to zip this file, you want to enter the command zip space. Then you want to type in the name of the zip file when you're done zipping it, followed by the names of the files that you wish to zip, which are in the ls list above. And then hit enter when you're done, give it time, and it will give you all the specs on what was done zipping the file. Now we're going to go back to our file uh, explorer and we see now that there is a movie.zip in there and it is still intact inside of the zip itself. And you can clearly see that the size has changed between the original file and the zipped file. We are going to unzip that file in our Crostini terminal by typing in sudo apt install unzip so that we can be able to unzip it in our terminal. We're going to go back to our file explorer to make sure that we have a file that we wish to unzip. And in this situation, I've rearranged my files to where it's the only file in there. I'm going to type in ls anyways inside of the terminal. That way it shows the name of the file I wish to unzip and to command it to unzip type in unzip followed by the name of the file you want unzipped and the terminal will show you all of the stats on what was unzipped and we're going to clear out the terminal here so we have a fresh slate returning to our file explorer we are seeing the original movie.zip and the unzipped movie and you can see the differences in file sizes and everything later